Alright everybody, welcome back to my blind-ish playthrough of Fire Emblem 6, The Binding Blade. So, we cleared the first three chapters last time. Roy kinda sucks, but we found a couple of units that I think we can use long term. Lance is the MVP with him getting a ton of 3% crits, and him just being able to double a bunch of stuff. I also kinda wanna use Lot, and... maybe... Fainy. I'm going to try to use those free guys, and if we happen to get someone better, or if they tend to fall off, then, well, we can, we're can we flexible that way. Anyhow, we're on Chapter 4, The Collapse of the Alliance. Well, that didn't last long. We're four chapters in, and the Alliance has already fallen. Wonderful. Respecting Hector's last wishes, Roy made his way west toward Ostia. Oh yeah, and Hector died. Sad times, he was best lord in Fire Emblem 7 by far. And he also died while we easily could have saved him, but we wanted to get extra EXP! <laughs> On the way there, Roy passes through the Laos territory, governed by Lord Eric. Oh my gosh, Eric's back. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, Eric is kind of a tool in Fire Emblem 7 and a very easy boss, and yeah, now he's the Marquis of Laos in this game, and he's still a butt. So yeah, he doesn't actually change. At a glance, Laos is a peaceful territory with vast meadows and clear streams. Yeah, right. But there was great skullduggery, <laughs> that's an underrated word, going on behind the scenes. Oh no, not skullduggery. Whatever shall we do? Chapter 4, Collapse of the Alliance. We have the royal music. Oh boy, it's this guy, Narshan again. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sir Narshan. Lord Eric, I have not praised your wise decision of turning against Alicia to come to our side yet. There is no future for us if we are to be chained down by old moldy traditions, sir. That, my friend, is a wise way of thinking. Now where is the gift that you promised me? She does not seem to be here. Ah yes, I have prepared her in a separate room. She is a naive girl, you see. When I told her that I would let her meet her brother, she came right along with us. You over there, bring her here! Oh boy, that's right, it's Pent and Louise's daughter, and she sucks. What is this room? Where is my brother Klein? Welcome, Lady Clarine. Who might you be? I am Narshin, one of Burns Free Dragon Lords. Uh, my lady, I shall play with you instead of your brother. Ugh, get away from her, creep. <laughs> what is so amusing, my lady? You, instead of my brother? Take a good look in the mirror. Your clothing, your hair, your speech. Every aspect of you is completely lacks finesse. Lacks finesse? Me lacking finesse? Comparing you and my brother is like comparing a turkey to a peacock. You, you vermin! Saying that I lack finesse of all things? Sir Narshan, I have just received a report of ca that Castle Arafan has been retaken by the enemy. Oh, doggone it! Why did I leave to go to Burger King thinking that what's-his-face could leave it there? What? What happened to Slater? Uh, his whereabouts are unknown, sir. The enemy's been reported as Roy, son of the Marquis of Ferret. Lord Eric, lock the girl up in some cell. I shall have much fun with her when I return. You close down the high road leading to Ostia. This Roy figure might pass by. Oh, yes, sir! Or, Narshan, you could stick around and kill us and we would have no chance of beating you. Oh, wow, we're just diving head on in. This is... This is, like, literally the exact same map as the one in Fire Emblem 7 False Friends. Except there's another village over here, so this map is better. Hey, Proxima, nice to see ya! Good evening, good evening. You're just in time for the gameplay to start. Alright, so the boss is Eric, the Marquis of Laos, and he is a laos e person. But he's actually decked out a little bit better now. He has a steel sword and a javelin. But those are really bad bases. Okay, yeah, he's gonna be easy to deal with. And then we just have a bunch of cavaliers. All of these... Oh, nope, we got a sword guy or two. Alright. Oh no, and nomads. Nomads can be annoying. There are no... Bandits yet, though, so we gotta visit all these villages. Okay, cool. Alright. Lou, visit this village. We want to get the free thing. 
If you don't have a thief, you won't be able to open chests and doors. Only a thief can use lockpicks, but I have a key called the door key which can open any door if anyone uses it. You should thank me, but door keys suck. But I'll take it, because we have the inventory space. There are... I'm guessing there are going to be some heavy reinforcements on this chapter, because this is just not a lot of enemies. I'll be kind of disappointed if there aren't. Alright, Thaney, you can kind of head south towards that village. Lot and Ward, you guys can head on over this way. Equip that Iron Axe there. Why is Walt in the front of the lineup? That's just... that just won't do! Alright, we're gonna have to start using our brain a little bit more. We oh, that's right. We don't actually have a real Lance for Alan. He only has a Javelin. We could give him Bors' Lance. But then Bors would only have a Javelin. Alright, Deke. He should be pretty good. Um, we'll just leave Alan over here. He'll he'll be able to hold his own. I assume. Right. Alright, Chad, you can just kind of hang out. Oh, that's right. Chad has the halberd. I should trade that over to Lot and or Wade. Ward. Sorry. Ah. Keep forgetting. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no, Ellen. Oh, no. If that nomad can reach Ellen. Well, that's an easy reset. <laughs> if it's, like, the first turn that something bad happens, then, yeah, I have no problem resetting that. And Ellen is literally my only healer right now. I think that nomad can actually reach her. Yep. All right. Princess Guinevere, please don't give up. No, no, no. We, we, ain't, we ain't standing for that. <laughs> I thought for sure she was out of range of those guys. All right, I don't like resetting over every nitty little thing, but that happened the first turn, and that's easy to avoid. And she's my only healer, so... All right, first turn we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're not going to suck. We're also going to trade the Halberd over to Lot. Alright, that didn't happen. We're gonna move on from that. <laughs> Keep Ellen out of range of the archers. There we go. Alright. First turn should go a little bit smoother now. You fool! Do you even know who you're going up against? You have a lot to learn! <laughs> and this time, Laos missed Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, you do need some extra speed, though, to start doubling. I know you're carrying a javelin, but still. Oh no! Not Merlenis! Whatever shall I do? Alright, Deke. Wow, Deke, you don't one round. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, that's right. In Fire Emblem Six, um, nomads don't take extra damage from cavalry piercing weapons. Well, that's kind of dumb. All right, Roy. You can at least weaken him. Wow, Bors, you can't even finish the job. Wow, Bors, you can't even hit an 80%. Although you dodged a 71, so fair enough. Ah. Wait, I just realized, is my Twitch chat tracker not working? As far as my stream is concerned, it doesn't look like Twitch chat is showing properly. Well, that's a little strange. Do, 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 do. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Twitch chat is not showing properly on the stream. <laughs> 
Hey Marty, welcome to Fire Emblem 6. Yeah, Boars is, uh... He looks a little weird. I'm trying to get Twitch chat... Oh, I know why Twitch chat's not showing properly. I think. Maybe not. Nope. I'm dumb. That's weird. Why is Twitch chat not showing? Refresh, maybe? Technical difficulties. That's weird. It worked fine last stream, and I didn't change any settings since then. Okay, I don't know what the issue is, but I'm going to continue playing. We just have no Twitch chat today, I guess. Alright. Who should get the kill for this guy? Who's Who needs a good amount of experience? Okay, Lot. You can attack this guy, and that's fine. Ugh! What a boss. Yes! He got speed and defense! That's great! Good level up lot, even though... <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Marty, uh, in Fire Emblem 6, if they level up three fiends in a level up, that's considered a good level up. Alright. We can have Ward get the KO, if he can hit the 75. Nice job, Ward. <laughs> the characters look so lame. <laughs> in terms of just appearance, or in terms of, like, their stats? <laughs> What's wrong with Ward? He looks like a great guy. <laughs> How about Thaney? She's great. Oh, speaking of Thaney being great... Ward is best boy. That's funny, he's considered one of the most lackluster units in the game. In a game that's filled with lackluster units. Alright, Deke. Ugh! Oh, what a boss. I'm definitely looking forward to using Deke, or Diek, however you say his name. Alright, Alan, attack the Nomad, and please don't miss. Thank you. But Thaney's got the 100 watt smile. Deke totally got made fun of as a kid because of the scars? Dude, Deke is cut! Like. <laughs> oh, how about Wolt? If you thought archers were bad before, you've seen nothing yet. Wolt is awful. <laughs> Oh yeah, his name does sound like something else. But he's too but he's cool enough to move past that, Marty. Mm, do, 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 do. Maybe the Twitch widgets are just down tonight. But that is annoying that Twitch chat's not showing up. Alright. Um Thaney. I guess start moving closer to that village. Marcus, you can accompany her in case anything goes awry. <laughs> oh yeah, Wolt is awful. Ellen, heal Merlinus. Oh, also, is there a vendor? Because we really need to buy heal staves. There's a vendor down there. And an armory! Sweet. Chad, you can go down as well. And Merlinus, yeah, that's fine. Yes, that's the same Marcus, Marty. He's old now, and worse. <laughs> they shall pay for locking me up in here! Hey. Is someone there? I'm a mercenary hired by Lord Eric. He wants to see you. I refuse. I do not wish to meet with such lower class people. She sucks. Just get over here. Let go! You shall pay! Do you know who I am? Let go, I say! I like Edgy Boy. Yep. It's Marcus! He's old! <laughs> Alright. We got the guys coming after us. Okay. Oh my gosh. Lot doubles. 
lot doubles <laughs> nomads now, which is crazy. But I think what I'd rather have is... Eh, that has a low chance of hitting. Yeah, lot double that nomad and try to finish him. Finish him! Okay, lot. Really? <laughs> Curse you, Fire Emblem 6! <laughs> Alright, we need Lance the Pants to do anything here. Hey, Mobius. Lot's wife got turned into a pillar of salt. That's where she is. Alright. Alan, please finish the job. Alan! I hate Fire Emblem 6 sometimes. <laughs> Roy's right here. That's where he is. Um, I'm actually kind of worried. Okay. Ward, get the hand axe. Please don't miss. Oh, wait, that doesn't... That's... Doggone it! Lot missed both of the 70%, so the Nomad's still alive. Am I seriously gonna have to use Marcus? Ugh, that's... That's a little too risky for my liking. We're gonna use... Mm, yep, I... Goes against my moral creed, but we gotta use Marcus just to make sure everyone survives. There we go. New Mario Party is dope, says Marty. Yeah, um... <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna use Merlenis' live bait. Oh, hang on. Yeah, so we're gonna move Deke here. At this point, only the Nomad can reach Lance. I want to keep Lance alive. So we're gonna heal Lance. The Nomad can shoot Ellen, but she should survive. She should survive. Oh yeah, she's got way too much speed to be doubled. Hugh, get your butt over here. Or I'm sorry, Lou, not Hugh. My sincerest apologies. Walt, go over here and visit the village, because you're kind of useless beyond that. And then Roy, come in there. Thaney, go to the shop. Here are the items we have for sale. Yes, I would like two heal staves, please. Oh, wow, going for Chad, eh? Guess that's not a bad move. Oh no, you're attacking Merlinus, but he parked his donkey cart on the fort, so you're done. Alright, Ward? See what? Ward can hit at low percents, why can't you hit at high percents? <laughs> I said let go! Shut up, you won't be able to escape with all the noise you're making. Then you're... I've prepared a horse for you over there by that tree. Get on it and leave while you can. Why are you helping me? I have hatred against Burn. Hatred? It's none of your business. Putting it that way only makes me more curious. Time's running short. Go! What a Chad. This is the middle of a battlefield! What was that man thinking? A proper gentleman should escort the lady to her mansion. Well, putting that aside, I came all the way here on my own to meet my brother, and now look at the state I'm in. What should I do now? Clarine, you just charge towards the enemies instead of north. Alright. Um. Roy can't talk to Clarine. By the way, yeah. You know, considering she's Pent's daughter, you'd think her magic stat would be a little bit higher. I know she's level 1 unpromoted, but still, 2 magic? That's Sarah levels of magic. What gives? Alright, what's in the village? Oh, it's Money Man! I can't believe this war is happening! Under Burn's leadership, we will definitely wither! Here is something that will help you stand longer. Think carefully before using it. 
<gasps> An angelic robe! Aw, yeah! Send that to Merlinus. Alright, well, we might be using that on Thaney. Because Pegasus Knights need more... <laughs> they need a little bit more help with the HP department. Alright. Chad, finish off the Nomad, please. Thank you. I'll be honest, I was expecting more reinforcements at this point. Well, you can slowly make your way over there. Oh, Ward needs a big heal. Alright, you've got an Iron Sword and you've got an Iron Lance. Cool. There you go! Probably should be giving these to Lot, because I'm... Pr well, you know what? I'll let Ward get another level up. If he gets another amazing level up, I might start using him instead. You're level 6. You're level 6. Roy needs a kill. Gotta keep Roy's level at least kind of comparable to everybody else's. Alright. Time for Lance to swoop in and save the day. Nice! See? What a Chad! Lance is the best. Alright, now we've got to protect Clarine. And we're going to do that by having Marcus to the rescue! Boars, take her and get her behind the lines. Alright, you've got a sword, you've got a lance. Well, Lot can do some damage. Man, they almost have no enemies left. They suck. Even though they caused me to reset. <laughs> they reset because of my- I reset because of my stupidity, not because they were smart. Alright, I don't want to put Alan too close to the danger zone, so I'll just put him- I'll put him right there. That way Lance gets the support bonuses. Yeah, <laughs> all this crap about Alicia and Burn or whatever. People of nobility have so much to worry about. Well, we can't complain because we can make our living off of turmoil. <laughs> There's only one village left, dudes, and uh, where a Walt is about to visit it. Alright. Oh no, Deke is in danger. Not. That's right, Chlorine has to talk to Roy. Pardon me, you over there! Me? Who else? You are the leader of this group, are you not? Yes. That is most convenient. Alright then, you are to protect me. Excuse me? Are you deaf? I said that you're going to protect me from harm. <laughs> Mind your mouth, young lady! Please step back, I was not addressing you. What? Who do you think? Now, now, Merlinus. It looks like she's being pursued by the castle soldiers. That's why she wants us to guard her. Right? Um, yes. That is correct. What? What impudence! Our army isn't so lenient that we are going to take on some girl who would be of absolutely no use! My name is Clarine, not girl. And I am not of no use. I can use these staves to heal wounded allies. So you will fight alongside us? Yes! Of course, I would certainly not be asked to be protected without doing anything in return. Thank you for joining! We're up going up against Burns, so we need all the people we can recruit. I'm Roy. Pleased to meet you, Kalarine. I am also pleased. Humph! <laughs> I will not be friendly with you! She's the worst. How do people like her? Oh, she can move immediately again. Well, at least she's another healer, and that is useful. Alright, Walt, visit the village at last. You again? You were in the Severn village! That was my twin! Everyone here is your ally! We're not about to abandon the land in which we were born and change sides! Here, please take this treasured sword. It was given to us generations ago, a gift from the king. A steel blade? That's like the worst sword ever. It has a weight of 14 and only 60 hit rate. It's like... Maybe I'll just sell it for cash. That's actually not a bad idea. Oh, also... If memory serves on this chapter, Edgy Swords Boy 
spawns in outside the castle, moves a decent distance, and then can move again. So we actually need to make way for Prince Ali and back off a little bit. Because um, he can murder us pretty easily. <laughs> you fool. Your enemy is the Great Lance. Alright. So, Chlorine, you can heal. I w was trying to get you to heal um, Deke, but alright, that works, I guess. Ellen, can you heal anybody? Dark on it. Ellen. Ellen, here. You can heal Marcus. <laughs> He's very important. Oh no, you broke your heal staff by using it too much. Try to figure that out. Alright, let's buy another Slim Lance for Thaney. Because she can't wield no Iron Lance. Let's buy an Iron Lance for Alan. And... That should be suitable for now. Iron weapons are pretty durable, so... Move him slightly farther away... I don't really want two people to be able to reach Alan, but I also don't want Chlorine to be in danger, so we gotta rescue her... But we also need to make sure Chlorine can talk to Edgy Swords Boy once he comes back in, so... Alright, there we go. This should give them the slip. Oh yeah, Lou, or I forgot, Chad also needed to be healed. Whoops. Ah, there you are! What do you want? Our forces are having trouble out there! Take us out, uh, take some more troops and assist them! Didn't you hear? I said to go help them! I heard you. I'll leave as soon as I'm ready. <laughs> Not the friendliest of people. Well, he's supposed to be one of the best swordsmen out there. Oh wow, that guy actually got a hit on Lance. He's pretty good. <laughs> but I'm better. <laughs> you fool, why the heck are you attacking Ward? WHY THE HECK ARE YOU ATTACKING WARD?! <laughs> All right, Ward, second level up. Yeah, I don't think I'm using Ward in favor of Lot. Yes, they they have a unit named Chad. He's the thief. He's great. All right, Clarine, now you can heal Deke. And I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, Edgy Swords Boy, I think, is a reinfor an um, ambush spawn, so I think he spawns around this area and then can move immediately, which is totally unfair, especially since he comes equipped with a killing edge. <sighs> Thaney, doggone you! Okay, that guy's got a sword. I'll have Lance pull back a bit. Ah, here we go. Roy can attack, Thaney can finish. This looks insanely hard. It's actually not as hard as you might... The hardest part of this game is the fact that the hit rates don't work the same as they do in Fire Emblem 7. Alright, Thaney. Nice one. But this is definitely one of the tougher Fire Emblem games from what I've heard. Once again, no strength. But at least she's getting speed pretty consistently. And she's got that 100 watt smile. Alright, at this point, again, I know, I know that Speed Boy is coming, so, or <laughs> Sword Boy is coming. One, two, three, four, five, alright. I'm pretty sure he spawns in, like, right here. Right, uh, 
I don't feel comfortable with Clarine being that close. Hold on. We need somebody to be able to take Clarine. Oh, crap. Clarine, why are you so fat? Nobody else can draw. Oh, this is actually really bad. Because Clarine needs to be the one to talk to Edgy Swords Boy to recruit him. And if she can, and if she's currently no, what have I done? Okay. Chad needs healing, and he can deal with the pirates that are coming down. And Lou, you can assist. Oh no. Yep. Oh no, he spawns in slightly farther south than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> he just bursts out the castle wall and is just like, "Here I am." Oh wait, but he's does he not move? No, he moves. <laughs> uh oh. No, I thought I thought Clarine was lightweight enough that anybody can take her. Oh, Fire Emblem MS Paint, thank you so much for the raid. Unfortunately, my Twitch alerts and Twitch chat uh, widgets are not working properly, but thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, and welcome everybody joining the raid. I made a, a slight tactical error. I had. Bors rescue Clarine, who needs to talk to Rootger, and she can't move this turn, so, uh, yeah. That's a problem, and Rootger has a killing edge, so, um... Guess we're doing a tactical retreat! <laughs> oh no, oh, this is not good. Thankfully, Rootger can't move that far. He doesn't have super speed like Chad does. Alright, here we go. Wow, really? Curse you, Fire Emblem 6 hit rates. <laughs> they can't walk... Wait, oh, I don't like how they can just... <sighs> Thaney to the rescue... This is why you just, when you're playing this game, it seems like you just need a lot of backup plans in case fiends inevitably go awry. Alright, back up everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Gotta heal the Chad. But we also need to be close enough to Rootger and company that they, we can take out his guards. Oh no! <laughs> Ellen didn't level up magic for the first time. That's not good. Alright, oh yeah, I totally forgot Wolt is just chilling up here. Do they have hand axes? They have vulnerabilities we can steal, though. That's nice. Wolt, how do you fare against generic enemy archer? Honestly, not great. I don't trust him to not die if I put him there, so I'm having him retreat. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, Bors. Oh, you fool. Bors is an armor knight. Granted, he's no Oswin, but still. Oh, epic doge. Nice job, Lot. Alright. Alright, first thing, gotta talk to Rutger. Oh, you are... What? You're still here? Still here? You just abandoned me in the middle of a battlefield, and you still have the nerve to say that? I could have been killed! Then you're lucky that you're still alive. Is there anything else you need to say to me? Just a minute. You are just going to walk away after abandoning me? I do not think so. A proper gentleman should take responsibility for his actions. Responsibility? What responsibility? If a gentleman rescues a lady, he must also escort her to the mansion. I've never heard any story from any barf of a man but just abandoning the lady. What in the world are you talking about? Besides, do you not have a grudge against Burn? Then you shouldn't be trying to fight us who are going up against Burn. What? Wait. Is that true? Is what true? 
is the army that you're really fighting against burn? Yes! The leader named Roy or something said so. Alright. I'm going to join your army. Happy now? Ah, uh, I guess so. Wait! The most important thing is not to fight Burn, but to protect me! She's the worst. Alright, but now we get best unit, Rootger. From what I've heard, Rootger is a legendary unit. Uh, not only is he one of the best units in the game, he's also one of the few units in the franchise who can apparently potentially get a higher critical hit rate than 100%. He can actually get over 100% without abusing randomizer bugged support conversations. So I'm excited! <laughs> I definitely want to try him. Your chlorine was magic blessed as heck. <laughs> Interesting. Well, she may maybe she's got a high magic growth, but her starting magic is two. I'm, and also, when I say she's the worst, I'm not saying in terms of a unit. I'm saying in terms of her personality. <laughs> he can get... Ruger can get a 102 crit percent with the Clarine and Deke support. Oh, hey! I have Clarine and Deke right here! <laughs> cool. Alright, well, <laughs> Eric's just like, don't worry, I still have an archer protecting me. Oh yeah, also, Rootger, you're gonna need a better sword, my dude. And by better sword, I mean a sword that will not, uh... That is not super valuable. Ouch! Deke! Come on, bro! You're gonna make me use Thaney, alright. There you go. We need to make sure we take out those archers so they don't murder poor Thaney. Alright, Ward. Nice one! I remember X is, uh, hitting a lot more than this. People keep saying I'm using an older translation patch. I literally googled FE6 English translation and I got the most popular one. So, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Alright. Roy, will you die? Yeah, you might die to this stuff, actually. Oh, wait. Why would we use Roy when we've got Lance the Pants here? I am surprised Lance doesn't double that pirate. Lance has gotten a ton of speed level ups. <laughs> Whoops. Controller, come back. Alright. Chad, finished the job. Nice one. Oh, yes, I love how thieves get extra level, uh, extra experience. Wow, defense on a thief. I'll take it. Alright, that archer is heavily weakened, and so is that one. Take that. Alright, Roy. Nice job. Way to not miss a 91%. Alright, Rutger. Oh, perfect. Perfect kill. Ouch! <laughs> I got hit in the head with a massive axe! That mildly hurts. I love how, like, the Myrmidons that you get, A, they're, like, always enemy units you have to talk to, and there's, like, a 50% chance that they're, like, unbelievably great, and a 50% chance that they kind of suck. I just love the suspense. Alright, Lou, way to pick them off, and now, Alan, can you finish the job with you? Oh, yeah. Alan is a powerhouse. Oh, yeah, Alan can absolutely finish the job. We are getting a lot of low percent crits, and I, I like it. I just don't like it if the enemies get them. Alright. Alan, I kind of need you to level up speed if you want to surpass Lance. Alright. Three guys left, no problem. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Walt, I always forget you exist. <laughs> the, the, the pirates, why are you guys here? We've already visited all the villages. There's nothing left for you to loot. They're just like, har, people to kill, yar, har, har. Oh! Uh, hey, Metal Lord, welcome! Haven't had the chance to get into the Fire Emblem franchise before, and your friends say you should. What would you? What would I suggest you start with? Um, there's a couple of good options. I started with Fire Emblem 7, which is just called Fire Emblem. Uh, it was the first one in America. That's a great one, but it's hard to get a hands up. Fire Emblem 8, The Sacred Stones, is another great one. Very beginner-friendly, also very fun. Um, Free Houses is also very, very good. It's very different from other Fire Emblem games, but that's another good starting place. But yeah, Sacred Stones is probably the most beginner-friendly of the Fire Emblem games, so if you can play that, that's definitely a great starting place. Oh, that's right. We really need to give Ellen her heal staff. <laughs> Do not start with Thracia776. That's, that's my biggest piece of advice. <laughs> All right, well, let's start building up the Rooker supports, then. <laughs> All right, Ward and, and Lot. You can guys can head over to um, Eric. And yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Also, Awakening is a great one as well. One of my favorites. I forgot. I don't know why I forgot about Awakening, but that's, that's a really fun one. And also pretty beginner-friendly. Alright, that should be sufficient. You fool! Of all the units you could attack, why Lance? Oh, that's right, Lance doesn't double. That's why. <laughs> Man, if this was Fire Emblem 7, I wouldn't even be worried about a 17% chance. <laughs> but things are different today. <laughs> Aw, oh, what a Chad. I love how we've enlisted, like, actual children in our army, and nobody is even batting an eye. Like, Chad and Lou are both, like, literal kids. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, this is absolutely okay. Oh, I think the Lance Allen support gives Allen additional attack power. Which is... Ridiculous. Yeah, that's true, Marty. I agree. Free Houses' battle system is very different. Wow, Lance! That's such a good level up! Oh yeah, that's true. Roy is literally leading an army and he's 15. Like, who, who thought that was a good idea? I dare say I did not. There you go, Lot. Also, heads up, people, I play slowly. <laughs> I'm not going for a low turn count or anything like that. I'm going for maximum fun. <laughs> I wonder if Merlinus can support anyone since he's technically a unit. He probably can. Alright, Lance, I leave that to you and Alan. You guys should kick butt. Alright, there you go, Ward. How do you fare against... Oh, wow. I am surprised Eric actually... Oh, that's right. Eric has weapon triangle advantage. That's part of it. Well, shucks, we can attack him with a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. We'll do it. You fools who are bound down by mold, moldy tradition! I shall teach you the ways of the world! Oh no, Ward missed! Who could have seen that coming? 
Should have had him in range of uh, a lot for support bonuses. Now Eric will pull out his javelin to attack, which is great. It's exactly what we want. <laughs> Beautiful. Your favorites are Free Houses, Sacred Stones, and Thracia. Your Thracia is one of your favorites. That is interesting. I have heard very polarizing things about Thracia. Some people, like, I've heard the hardcore Fire Emblem fans love it, but I've also heard it's, like, by far the toughest Fire Emblem game. Also very different. Ward, how do you only have a 36... I know it's a hand axe, but come on! Man, people were trash-talking Ward, but he's actually not bad. Or maybe he's just the Dorcas of the game. That's entirely possible. Hey, Thaney. Oh, you can't do much. Alright. And... Cowabunga! Um... Shoot, I probably should... Nope, not doing that! <laughs> oh man, we could obliterate him with the halberd, potentially, but that's kind of unlikely to happen. <laughs> what happened to Dorcas? <laughs> Dorcas maybe died between Fire Emblem 7 and Fire Emblem 8. How does... <laughs> Why did I even ask? I wonder if Ward would do, or I wonder if, uh, <laughs> wonder if Walt would do decently well. Of course he wouldn't. Oh shoot! I he should have the hand axe, but he doesn't. Man, you know Eric is actually. A little... He, Eric is actually slightly tougher in this game than he is in Fire Emblem 7. But granted, in Fire Emblem 7, he's one of the most laughable bosses in the whole game. Alright, Alan, I'll, I'll let you get this kill. There you go. Playing Freysha blind would be a nightmare. Oh, is it one of those games <laughs> where you, like, basically need to look stuff up? Ah, uh, I see. Oh, Marty, weapon trading is very good. How does Roy fare with the rapier? Um, not the best. I don't like that. Oh, oh I bet Rootger would do pretty decently. Hmm, should I use Chlorine or should I use Ellen? I mean, Chlorine is a lower level and Ellen I like her personality more, but Calarian will probably be a better unit just because she's a troubadour. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Alright, well, let's keep it up. Oh, here, that's why. Eric, if he was not sitting on, like, the gate, would be totally, totally unthreatening. Troubadour? More like Troubledore! Exactly. Alright, lot. let's try using the Halberd, just to see what happens. Oh, get wrecked! Ha, 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 fools, there is no future for those who try and oppose absolute power. Take that, Eric. You should have died in the last game. <laughs> Res for Lot. Interesting. I'll be honest, Lot's been getting speed a lot, but he hasn't been getting a lot of great level ups besides that. Alright, who needs healing? Oh. Boars needs healing. Ellen needs healing. <laughs> this is how Fire Emblem was definitely intended to be played. Exhausting your healing stabs until the end.
Alright, besides that, it's just Deke, Lot, and Ward who need to be healed. Cool. I'll let Clarine finish healing everybody. Just to see what kind of a level up she's gonna get. Oh, I've heard about the infamous escape chapters. Oh boy. Oh yeah, Fire Emblem 1. I've heard Fire Emblem 1, like, you get so many units, and I've also heard you get extra units if you have units die. Oh wow, okay. Chlorine, that is not... <laughs> if you were trying to convince me to actually give you a chance and use you, that was a very bad way of doing it. <laughs> I'm... Alright, well, I think I'll be using Ellen for the time being. Master Roy, the Lao soldiers are retreating! What Lao We killed all of them! <laughs> Much like Dimitri said, we killed every last one of them! <laughs> okay, good. Tell everyone to get some rest. Yes! Roy, are you alright? I would never have guessed that Lord Eric would turn to Burnside. I would have! He's a butt! <laughs> I thought the members of the Lycia Alliance had a strong bonding to each other. Burn! Playing dirty like this? Man, this game has a <laughs> uses the D word a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know if that's that way in Japan or if it's just like, oh, let's make the English translation really edgy. I apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about your feelings. No, you are right. We will now proceed west towards Ostia. But we can no longer trust the other Marquises, and now that Lord Hector has passed away, there may no longer be a peaceful way to end this war. <laughs> hey, Fly, welcome. Oh, you only... That was the first time you heard me curse? Yeah, I... I've played games where I curse. I only really curse, though, when I'm reading out other people's dialogue. But there you go. I'm glad I can make your life complete. Yes, Marty, Hector dies on, like, chapter 3 of this game. He died... Oh, yeah, it's sad. So now we gotta go tell his daughter the bad news. Yeesh. There may no longer be a peaceful way to end this war. My lady, do you plan on returning to Burn? If you need anything. No, please allow me to stay, if it would not be a burden. It would never be a burden! But why do you wish to stay? My brother is wrong. He's dragging the dragons into a human war. If he thinks that this is the way to liberate the world, I must stop him. To liberate the world? Yes, he has always been talking about liberating the world. He's saying that this war is to do so. What does he mean? I do not know. But my brother is not the kind of person that would think about taking over the world. So he must have had a very important reason for conquering Alib. Still, that is no excuse to cause war. Killing innocent people. Princess Guinevere. Well, that's chapter four. Yes, Marty, best lord is dead. Although Hector is not the best lord in the series, he's definitely best lord in... Uh, I would say he's the best lord in the GBA uh, games. Followed by Ephraim. <laughs> oh, fly! I I got I got the 1.5 2.5 bundle on PC because yeah, it was on sale, so I got that. <laughs> no worries. It, I'm definitely glad. Yep, P Hector paid the price of being a Fire Emblem dad. Every Fire Emblem dad dies. <laughs> I, I, fiends aren't looking good for Elwood in this game. <sighs> All right. We can do another chapter. Oh boy, we're at chapter five, the Fire Emblem. We're already at the Fire Emblem. <laughs> all right, pack it in, folks. Lord Eric, Marquis of Laos, biggest bud of all, had been working with Burn against his allies of Lycia. This gave Roy fervor shock. I can't believe he would do this! Lycia, where Roy had grown up in, was no longer a safe place to be either. Heading for Ostia, Roy decided to move through the mountains where people seldom want to avoid unnecessary trouble. <laughs> when the Final Fantasy VII redone playthrough... Maybe this year, Fly? Or maybe that'll just be something I play in my spare time. Chapter 5, The Fire Emblem. Oh boy. <laughs> These guys look so nice, don't they? Boss, a uh, poor guys that went down to the village just got back. Alright, then let's go on to the usual visit down to the village and gather up all the loot. Yeah, but boss, something's different today. There's an army station real close to us. They look like Lysia's troops. Lysia? Then that ain't a problem. They gotta beat the remainders of the army that got their kicked by burn. Then we can beat them. 
Oh uh, yeah, boss! Well, we still gotta take our precautions. Maybe we can rake up some loot from them, too. Alright, boys, let's take them on. I love how we're going up against, like, the mighty military of Burn, but then it's just like, Oh no! Bandits! <laughs> a villager is here to see you, Master Roy! Hey, you, wait just a second! This guy again? He's everywhere! <laughs> oh, are you Roy from the Foray family? Yes, how may I help you? Sir, we wish for you to defeat the bandits here! Bandits? Oh yeah, they are always appear in early Fire Emblem chapters. There's a pack of bandits that have made their base in an old castle near the cliffs! Where are the castle guards? They fled once they heard that Lysia lost to burn. The villagers were left behind. We spent our days in fear of the bandit attacks. Didn't we see you in two different villages back in Laos? That's not the point. <laughs> we have no one else to ask. Please help us. Master Roy, we must keep up our pace towards Ostia. Yes, I know. But we can't just ignore people in need of help. Meat of Justice, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. That's going to be some tasty meat. I do love a good slab of beef. Welcome. We can't just ignore people in need of help, but Lolita's in danger, maybe. Master Roy, you'll help us? Thank you. Please make use of the gate. It will take you right next to the castle. Okay. Then I will go and make arrangements for the gate to be opened. Merlinus, we're going to the castle to drive off the bandits. <sighs> so full of energy when you're young. Oh, there is a door right there. <laughs> the money man. <laughs> okay, um... Well, we could open... Wait, can we open that? That says it's a wall, not a door. We have a door key. I thought we could open it, but maybe we can't. That would take us right here, but that would be risky! <laughs> risky. Also, no new units on this level. Oh, we better go to that village before those brigands get there. Uh-oh. Gotta stand in front of it and it'll open. I'm not sure if I want to, though. That's a lot of axe wielders. And do they all have they all have hand axes? Oh, that's even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> this guy has the scariest weapon. A steel blade. Oh, my, almost nobody opens it. Yeah, I think I'll pass. I'll take the slower, safer way. <laughs> we have <laughs> the evil boss of the brigands. Hi, I'm Dory. <laughs> Dory, that's an no wonder he turned to a life of crime. That's a very unfortunate name for a dude. Dory, the leader of one of the brigand groups in Mesia. He has a killer axe! Uh-oh! Okay, we're gonna take him on long range style, and he has a scary amount of strength. Okay, he means business. He is tougher than Eric is, and he's just a generic brigand. That's embarrassing. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll just send Walt to open the gate all by himself. What could go wrong? <laughs> He probably does speak whale. Have I heard of Project Ember? Yes, I have! I've seen people play parts of it, where it's like a repeat of Fire Emblem 6, but like, kind of redesigned. It looks really cool. I wanted to play the real game first, though. <laughs> what could it- I, you know, I think Walt can take all of these guys when he's at, uh, level 2. Also, Walt's first level up, he only got HP. <laughs> so, you know he's really good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, who has the extra lance? Oh, Merlinus has the extra lance. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's take that iron lance and trade it over to Alan because he needs one. Thaney, you can hang out in the cliff tops. Maybe you can make a mad dash for the village worse. <laughs> no, if she makes a mad dash to the village, she dies. <laughs> we are not doing that. Ward is on a base, so I am not worried. Also, wow, we have we still have not unlocked battle preps yet. I can't believe they're still letting us take all of our units on every single level. That's kind of nuts. Oh hey, it's Rutger. Let's sit next to him. Oh, you fool. Oh, yeah. Eat it. We do kind of need those units. I've actually used all my units. I've even used Merlinus as bait. <laughs> I've even used Marcus. That literally goes against, like, all of my Fire Emblem creed. I used Marcus. Not even just as, like, a blockade or as, like, setting up for kills. No, I actually used Marcus to kill people. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. Please tell Saul as well. 
Is this a girl? <laughs> yeah, that's a girl. Um, <laughs> yes, Bishop Yodel. But where did Father Saul go? How am I supposed to guard him if he keeps disappearing? Father Saul? Um, Father Saul, thank you for your offer, but maybe not today. Come now, please don't be so cold. You can sit comfortably tonight and you can listen to my preaching. There you are, Father Saul. Oops, uh, Dorothy. Well then, good day. Please wait! Now look what you've done, Dorothy. She fled because you advanced upon us with such a scary look on your face. Or because you're kind of creeping on, on the girl's Father Saul. Also, that's an unfortunate name for Minister. Father Saul. Every, there were a couple Sauls in the Bible, and they were all bad. Until the one Saul turned good. But then he had to change his name as a result. <laughs> so Saul means bad news. This is the face I was born with. Father Saul, you were hitting on another girl. You make it sound so evil! I was simply offering a helping hand to those poor souls in need. Poor unfortunate souls! Why does that have to be tonight? Well, putting that aside, did you not have somebody to tell me? Oh, right. The Lisi Alliance Army is supposed to be around here. What? Princess Guinevere is still with them, is she not? Yes, if the reports from the All Mind Supreme Church are accurate. Let's hurry! We must go and join that army! What is the matter, Dorothy? You want to join because Princess Guinevere is so beautiful, right? Don't be ridiculous! Now, come, we, we must hurry. <sighs> yes, sir. They're green units, are they gonna join? Nope, they just ran off into the ether. You could have joined this chapter, but okay, no, I guess we don't need to join this chapter. No, that's fine. Oh man, Chad on the fort. What could go wrong? Oh wait, a lot could go wrong. Fire almost six hit rates mean that if they have a 10% hit chance to hit, it's actually a 10% chance to hit, not a 1% chance. Uh-oh. Oh no. All right, eat this. Ugh! Epic Doge. Oh, okay. You know, I'll give you that one, bandit. I'll give you that one. I don't like that mercenary so close, though. Oh, Alan to the rescue! What could go wrong? Haha, <laughs> easy dodge. Alright, Alan's popping off a bit! 14 attack and he doubles. He's, he's, he's inching in on Lance's Monopoly. Alright, let's see if Ward can do this! Oh yeah! Who would have thought I'd see the day where fighters in a Fire Emblem game are actually good? Dane! Ward is... Okay, should I use Ward? That's the second epic level up he's gotten. Ward's looking pretty promising. Let's see. 77935. 105745. I don't know. Ward's looking pretty good. Oh, that's actually tough. Do I use... Which one do I use? I don't really want to use both of the Fighter Bros long term, but... I don't know. They're... But... Ward popping off a little bit. He is... Ward has single-handedly gotten the best level ups out of all of my units. And it's not even close. <laughs> Here, Walt. <laughs> Marcus on the fort. Yes. This is definitely a good use of the fort. Wait, hang on. Mercenary, can you attack Ru Okay, no you can't. Let's park her next to Rutger. Those nomads be coming, and I don't like it. Merlinus, just stay on the mountains, and you'll be fine. Nice job, Alan. Ooh, that might be a Thaney kill. Ooh. You're not getting away that easy. Uh oh, wait. Maybe we don't want. Actually, no. Fanny can get that kill. Oh, also, I have an angelic robe that I can use now if I want. Maybe I should use it on Fanny. If there's anyone who needs it, it's kind of her. Who has the angelic? Oh, uh, Merlinus does. That's right.
Okay, Ruger can't quite run around that guy or that guy. That's a shame. He can one-round this guy if Chad does... Okay, Chad. Chad. Chad! <laughs> That's unacceptable! Why is this guy so fast? He has a hand axe! That should be weighing him down substantially. All right, Alan, level up! He got speed! All right, good job, Alan. Nice job a lot. Weapon level increased. That is wonderful. I love that. All right, Ruger. Uh, am I playing on normal or hard? I'm playing on normal because that is the only mode I could play on. And also, I would have played on normal even if I had the option for hard mode because, from what I've heard, hard mode sucks in this game. <laughs> and I haven't beaten this game before, so... I'm not going to jump straight to the hardest difficulty. That just don't make a lick of sense. I am not that, uh... I'm not looking for trouble that much. Alright, who needs the heals? I guess Alan needs the heals a little bit, but that puts Clarine into danger from the Nomads, so I will not be doing that. Instead, Clarine will continue to both build support points with the Rutger. Deke, you need to get in on this action. There's about to be a gory shooting over here. <laughs> well, Felix is a pretty great unit. The beginning of hard mode is so tough you practically need Marcus to beat it. I don't like that. I don't, like, because that's kind of Hector Hard Mode, where you, I don't really see any way to beat Hector Hard Mode without using Marcus, in, at least in the early chapters. I don't really like that, but, like, I get it. Generally speaking, in Fire Emblem Hard Modes, the beginning of the game tends to be the toughest. Oof. Steel Bow Nomad. That is kind of nasty. Iron Bow, uh, Iron Bow Nomads are nasty enough. You didn't use Marcus that much on Hector Hard Mode. See, I've, I'm playing Hector Hard Mode right now. I've never been able to beat it before, and I think it's because I flat out refuse to use Marcus. Now that I'm actually willing to use Marcus when necessary, I find that it's actually not as hard as I initially thought. All right, Clarine, Lance needs to top off. Oh my gosh, the healers just can't heal. Which is a problem, because they're healers. Darn it, Rutger. I don't want to use the Killing Edge. Here, Lou. Oh yeah, I only really used Marcus when I needed him as well, but I kind of needed Marcus a decent amount. Alright, finish him! Oh nice, Alan one rounds. Okay, Alan is also popping off. He doesn't have as high speed as Lance, but he has high enough speed that he can double most stuff. Which is, that's really what you just need. Christmas calves to the rescue! I am glad that they actually let you take this many units on the level, because they're all, they're all actually contributing meaningfully. There you go, Ward, you're 1 HP back. Here, Marcus, go and visit the village. Hold on, you. Why don't you take this spear with you? I think at some point a really powerful armor knight used it. Just a rumor, but he bested many soldiers with this lance. Gant lance? <laughs> Is that the same Gant that I'm thinking of? <laughs> Anji, are you here to go swimming? <laughs> Lance wielded by Gant. It's definitely the same Gant from Ace Attorney. All right, well, we got to use it. That's a low hit rate, though. It's also kind of heavy. <laughs> Staring intensifies. Oh, hey, let's... Nobody else can reach that spot, right? 
Oh, wait, hang on. No one can reach past the forest? Cool. Thaney, let's put you right there. You can deal with Mr. Mercenary. Man, Deke's just just lagging behind. So is Wolt, but I mean, pff, come on, like, really, who, who wants to use Wolt? Gant is from the Fire Emblem 6 manga. Interesting. That is, a that is a strategical thing to do, is to uh, take fewer units than you're allowed. You don't have to take as many units as you can carry. But I just feel like it's way... Oh, wow. This guy didn't go out of his way to attack Thaney. It's almost like he knew it was a trap. Thaney, you're not allowed to be smart. Ha <laughs> ha! You fool! <laughs> Lance will destroy everything in his path. Alright, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> I could get the... You know what? <laughs> Why not? There you go, Walt. Oh boy, Walt's second level up! Will he redeem himself? Walt, you are trash. <laughs> wow. It's truly spectacular that he's gotten the level ups that bad that consistently. Uh, I don't like all this cluster of enemies together. There are a lot of hand axes here. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to need to get Walt out of there, otherwise he's going to die. Not that I would be all that upset, but... <laughs> I probably shouldn't be feeding units right into the meat grinder. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> that's... Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so Marty, Walt is, Rebe uh, is Rebecca's son. And Rebecca's kind of trash as well. Don't let my brother hear you say that, though. He, he, he likes Rebecca. He thinks she's a good unit. She's not. Yep, Bolt is Rebecca's son. I believe that is canon? Question mark? Alright, Ward, don't go dying on me. I have faith in you. And once again, we're in a situation where... The two guys that kind of need healing are a little close to enemy lines. But here's what we can do. No, Rebecca was kind of terrible, and it's mainly just because archers in that game were kind of terrible. Archers are not particularly good in Fire Emblem 7. A lot of it has to do with the fact that um, effective might got nerfed from triple effectiveness to double effectiveness. Oh, Ninian is best girl. Yep, Nino had twin sons, and we have one of them on our team. His name is Lou. Nino is definitely not a good unit, but she's really fun to use. <laughs> Who's Lou? This is Lou. He definitely has the looks of his mom. Green hair and all that. And he's a mage just like her. Okay, we got enemies here aplenty. Yeah, it's Nino, but a dude. Alright, Deke, don't miss. Thank you, Deke. Nice job. Alright. Deke, come on! Don't make me bench you. Who's Deke's dad? I don't think Deke ever had a dad. I think he... I think God physically created him with no dad like he did Adam. That's canon, by the way, now. That's canon. <laughs> I 
He worked for Pent a while. Oh, I'm getting all this lore that I didn't know I needed. There you go, Rutger. Ugh. Actually, Rutger of the Killing Edge could probably make quick work of the boss, but we're going to have the boss equip uh, Hand Axe first. Nice level up. Typical Myrmidon level up. All right. Ward. Nice one! That's fine. You can take the axe to the face. You can afford it. All right, Lot. Just hit one of these. All right, Lot. <sighs> Wait, Rootger was in Smash Bros. Brawl? As, like, a sticker? All right, Lou. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. I forgot it kind of about the stickers in Brawl. All right, skill, speed, and luck. Kind of a typical mage level up. Uh-oh, that's a nomad. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Roy is here. Nothing will ever go wrong with Roy around. Alright, who needs a healing that was in range? Here, Deke, here's your 1 HP. Now, nah, let's put him in the forest. What does this uh, shop have? Oh boy, we can buy door keys. No, I'm not buying any door keys. We have Chad. <laughs> fire Emblem. Oh yeah, well Fire Emblem Heroes has a bunch of Fire Emblem characters from all sorts of games. Wow, I'm kind of surprised Ward did not get doubled there. Mercenaries typically have high speed. Oh no, don't double... Oh well, even if they do double Ward, he would still live. Okay, we gotta get Ward out of there. <laughs> All right, Rutger. I don't want to expend all these Killing Edge uses. All right, let's have Ward retreat. Ellen, you can mend him. Nicely done. All right, Ellen, level up. Magic. Okay. Well, she's definitely getting magic very frequently. I like that. All right, I believe Alan will need to help take out this... Wow, that stupid mercenary has a lot of dodge. Because he's in a forest. Even with weapon triangle advantage, only a 55% chance. Wow. Wow. We gotta get rid of this nomad or else Thane, he's in trouble. Cool. Nicely done, Lance. This is why you're the main lord of the game. I mean, what? Alright, Lou, can you hit this man? Yes, you can! Alright. Good job. Oh yeah, Boars is here. But he's a bit of a boar, so... Alright, Lot, no offense, I don't really have faith that you're going to be able to hit this guy with an axe when he's in the forest and he's wielding a sword. Okay. Stupid bandits. How does Feeny fare against him? Not terribly bad. Oh, and she doesn't take much damage from the mercenaries at all. Oh, this is great! Really? Ladies and gentlemen, Fire Emblem 6 hit rates. <laughs> Dear lord, this is ridiculous. I don't like that 1% crit rate, but you know what? Rooker's going to be fine regardless, so... So, there we go. Alright, we'll give Lot some heals as well. Our calves don't need desperate healing, do they? Nah, they don't. They're good. They're good. Don't even worry about it. 
Boars will get to the front lines eventually! <laughs> Oh, guys, we should give the Angelic Robe to Wolt. I can't think of anyone more deserving of... <laughs> I can't think of anyone more deserving of the Angelic Robe than Wolt. Not a single person. Oh, man, Ruker's... Ruker's good. Ruker's one of those Myrmidons that's very good. Can't touch this. <laughs> Man, they all want to touch... Can't touch this! <laughs> Alright, see ya, Marty. Thanks for joining in. I'm gonna end the stream once we're done with this chapter. Keep the streams to around an hour and a half. Alright, we gotta weaken this guy a little bit. Lance, do you double? No, you don't, but you don't deal enough damage. Now, Alan does if he can hit. Which he can't. Oh, bother! <laughs> Why do these mercenaries have such high dodge rates? Wait, did it say... No, it did not say support. Here, Walt, can you chip away at him? Doggone it, these stupid mercenaries when they're in forests could just dodge everything. <laughs> well, let's see them dodge this! Really?! This is... laughable. Give me that javelin. Thank you! Get out of here! <laughs> Alright! Good level up, Lance. I would like you to get strength every now and then, but that's fine. That's a good level up for now. Alright. Now we should double back and open up the game! <laughs> This, there's just a vendor here, no armory. That kind of sucks. I actually should have gotten Deke an extra iron sword. I guess I could give him Chad's. Chad's not really using his. Oh, he had a support option, probably with Lance. Oh no, Ruker needs healing, and he's out of reach! Eh. No, why do forests slow down mounted units so much? You'd think they could run faster in the forest, compared to non-mounted units. There you go, Ruker. Your girl's here to heal you. There we go. I'm gonna refrain from giving Roy the support with Lance. I feel like Roy can support with... Oh man, Roy and Wolt can support as well. No thank you, Wolt doesn't deserve supports. <laughs> supports are for winners, Wolt. Uh oh. Lance is running out of an iron sword. That's actually bad. <laughs> if only there was some way we could have foreseen this happening. Wait, could he support? No. I, I read storage as support. Alright, here we go. Now they, they're starting to pop up out here. You fool, you can't hit Rutger with an axe. Unless you're the boss. The boss might be able to do that. Oh, nice dodge, Lou. Proud of you! Ho ho! Alright, now Ruger can finish the job. Bada beam, uh, bada boom. <laughs> I 
Did, is that the exact same level up that he got last time? Skill, speed, and luck? Maybe he got HP as well last time, but that's pretty much exactly what he got last time. That's kind of nuts. Oh, that guy has a steel blade. Actually, that's a little dangerous. Alan or Lance? Which one has more defense? Alan has seven, Lance has seven, and... Okay. Lance, my man! You're gonna play Gandalf, you shall not pass. Uh-oh. I don't like how he's in range of all of these enemies, though. Okay. Hang on. So he has seven defense. So he will take nine damage from that guy. Oh, that guy has eight... Okay, never mind. Yeah, Lance is fine. Lance is fine. If it were hard mode, it would probably be another story. But, yeah, Lance... Lance will not die. Especially if we put him in support range of his boon companion. Man, what was even the point of bringing boars along on this mission? He literally did nothing and but lag behind. Even Walt contributed to something. Wow. That's why you don't use the steel blade. It weighs you down too much. Armor Knights are especially awful in this game. Armor Knights, I feel like for the most part, they're not that great, but occasionally you get a glorious Armor Knight like Oswin, who just wrecks havoc. Alright, who should we let get the kill here? I feel like we should give it to Thaney. Lance can pull back. Thaney can go in. Thaney, if you miss this 91, it actually won't be that much trouble, but thank you. Alright, there we go! Level up! Still no strength. Well, she is getting good level ups, just not ever leveling strength, which is a big problem because she has four con and can't wield anything heavier than a slim lance. So, she basically just has eight attack power. <laughs> not ideal. Nicely done, Deke. We should give Deke a steel sword. Not a steel blade, but a steel sword. Although, I guess the iron blade works just fine for now. Gonna rescue her for the simple reason that we now need Clarine to heal Rutger before he baits out the boss's hand axe. Just to check to make sure. Okay. Yeah, he's- there's no way the boss is doubling Rutger. No way. It just ain't happening. There you go, Lance! Yeah, I think we might be using some of that there killing edge to help take on the boss, because the boss seems kind of scary. No one yet has ever stayed standing after taking one of my blows. You over there? You wanna try? He is powerful. No doubt about that. Alright, Rutger. How do you fare with an iron? Okay, not great. Let's use that killing edge to see. Nicely done. He is down to 2 HP. Good job, Rutger. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not risking Wu dying on something like that. No way. And let's see if Deke can finish the job. Uh 9% chance. Let's... 
Nah, let's play it on the safe side and just keep his hand axe get, uh, baited. I don't want any accidental messes. Do, 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 do. Move in Roy so he can conquer the throne once this is all over. Oh no! Reinforce and ambush spawns! That's not fair! This is normal mode! Oh no. Oh no! Not Walt! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Walt's like, nope, you can't kill me off that easily. <laughs> Not a fan of ambush spawns, must say. Alright, well, let's take out the boss. We can use an iron sword. Bye, Dory. Gah! No! I don't want to die yet! Oh, that's kind of sad. But that's what happens when you choose the fug life. Literally. Rooker, do you, do you get strength? I really hope you get strength, because a lot of Myrmidons don't ever get strength. But some of the rare ones, like Joshua, do, so... Are you gonna be a Joshua, or are you gonna be a Marissa? <laughs> big, big difference. Ironically, Lance needs a new sword. Because his, I think, only has, like, six uses left. Five uses left! Even worse! <laughs> oh, great. At least Rooker leveled HP at last. Oh, wait, no! That's not gonna kill! <laughs> Ouch! I thought that would kill. Well, at least Fanny gets some experience. Roy, here, you can get a free kill. Oh boy, Roy level up! You know this one's gonna be good. Well, he... Actually, not bad for Roy. He got speed. I don't think he's leveled strength once, but... Nah, you can't ask for everything in a level up. Alright, Wolt. <sighs> Wolt, you are so bad! <laughs> My goodness! Alright, Lot, you have... or Ward. Oh, Lot. <laughs> We're gonna give him that level up that he so desperately needs and deserves. OWNED! Eat my axe. Alright, Lot, let's see what you're getting. Lot! Do you want me to ditch you in favor of Ward? Because I will! <laughs> I have not ruled it out as a possibility. If we do this, then Roy is able to seize next turn. Yes, yes, well done, Slytherin, well done, Slytherin, however. Why?! You're kidding me. The boss is dead! The boss was dead! Why are there still reinforcements? And why can they move the same turn that they spawn? That's BS. Now, you know what? I think I'm continuing. I, w I wasn't really planning to use Clarine anyways, and you know what? I don't want to redo that stupid chapter again. That's BS, what just happened there. That's that's a perfect example of fake difficulty. Once the boss is dead, they have no reason to fight anymore. Well, rip Clarine. First casualty of the run that we're <laughs> keeping. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. You want her to recruit someone else. Doggone it, is there someone else in the game that only she can recruit? Two people that only she can recruit. This is after Rootger. 
There are two people that only she can recruit. Are you are you serious? Ah. That's so obnoxious. If she wasn't needed to re she recruits someone that recruits another person. Oh, great. Oh, man. I don't want really want to reset this, but I do kind of want to get all the characters. So, mm. That's so annoying. I hate that. I really hate that. This... Re who thought ambush spawns were a good idea? They are terrible. No, I don't know a single person who likes them. And they're unrealistic. Just, just to put this in perspective, if that happened in real life, that's not a case of like, oh, hey, they popped out, they surprise attack, they popped out of this fortress, moved over here and killed Clarine before she could react. Like, no. He has to move all the way over there. This is literally basically saying Clarine wasn't able to react in time after seeing him leave the fortress and just got murdered. It's effectively the equivalent of he teleported out of here right in front of Clarine and murdered her before she could even react to move away. It's, ah, it's so dumb. Alright, well, if Clarine is needed to recruit more people, then I guess I'll be resetting, but I'm not doing this chapter again on stream. I will be... I will do this off screen, and then I guess next stream will open up with me about to seize the throne on that. So, thanks for watching, everybody. That was a sucky way to end the stream, but hey, this game is still... I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> so tune in next time. We're going off to Chapter 6, and probably Chapter 7 as well. Should be fun times. We'll be streaming this again uh, next Monday. So, tune in for that. 8 p.m. That's when it's going to start. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. See you later, folks.